All right, welcome back to the channel. Sam here with GSK Wealth Builders. Today I want to talk about <clears throat> helium mining in Canada specifically. So I'm going to go over the stats today. Um, you know, it's August 2021. Uh, we've had the halving, the first halving of helium. We've seen the price go up. We've seen hedge funds, um, VC investors invest in helium. We've seen, you know, 141,000 hotspots be deployed on the on the on the uh, helium network the network is growing there's so many manufacturers trying to get their miners out they say there's half a million miners um, on back order which is going to take over a year so or half of a year so it's going to be crazy it's going to be really crazy okay so let's get into the stats and just see what's going on in helium right now because the number one question i'm asked every single day every single day of the year there's a comment like is it you know um is it okay to start mining right now and the issue is if you got the miner today and plug it in yes it is however that's not the reality the reality is you're going to order a miner you're going to try and order a miner you don't know which one it's a rodeo you're literally just rolling a dice and you could get the miner within a couple of weeks because you started with a new company, or you could be like, you know, Nebra. Seventeen thousand miners they messed up, so they just can't give them out. Okay, so you know, <clears throat> if you got the miner today, yes, it is profitable. If you got the miner today, yes, it is profitable. But the problem is you can't get a miner today unless unless you bought it off someone or you got lucky, right? So, okay, so. Let me just go over what is going on in helium right now. So we have 141,000 hotspots, as I mentioned. Uh, when I did my first video on helium, I think we had like between 18 and 20,000 hotspots. I can see even a dot in like Newfoundland and Labrador there, right? So uh, price $23.18, that's a healthy price. HNT staked $23 million, so half a half billion dollars of hnt is staked which is almost like half of the supply i'm pretty sure so now what do we want to do let's start on the west coast let's start on the west coast so there's a site called uh site bot so you can go to sitebot.com and then you can get the data right off of that website to see what's going on with helium right so in Canada, you have, you know, it's saying 10 provinces that helium is in. The number one province is Ontario with 4,000 miners. Then you have Quebec with 1,900 miners. You have uh, BC with 1,600, Alberta 1,100, Manitoba 167, Nova Scotia has 85 miners now, New Brunswick has 71, uh, Saskatchewan 53, Newfoundland and Labrador 18, and PEI 6. Okay, so. We said we're going to start out west, right? So we're going to start in BC. So there's 60 uh, locations or 60 cities or towns. I would say towns in BC uh, that are going to have miners. So most people in BC are going to be living in Vancouverish area, I would say. So let's take a look at Vancouver. So there's 500 hotspots in Vancouver right now. and okay so what they've done on sitebot is uh they're not nice anymore they used to show you the rewards for free uh now they don't show the rewards they don't want to be nice so um that's okay but you know hopefully uh they would show the stats so in Vancouver, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a spreadsheet, maybe. And yeah, what's going on? Crypto technology. Uh, what's going on, Stefan? Saskatchewan. Yes, yeah, Saskatchewan's in the house. That's awesome. Des, what's going on? So, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick some random miners in Vancouver. Let's say five random miners in Vancouver. And we'll just see what happens. So let's say online notepad. Perfect. So Vancouver. 
Oops. Then we'll do Saskatchewan next. Okay, and then we'll do Quebec. And we'll do... Uh, do Ottawa, because I'm curious about Ottawa. We'll do Toronto. Okay, so Vancouver. Let's pick five random miners in Vancouver. Let's do Able Lava Mole. Let's do Beautiful Shamrock. Let's do Breezy Shetland. Let's do three each. Of course, they're back. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just look at three random miners in, in uh, these areas and see what's going on with the rewards. So this one here is offline. No money, buddy. No money. Okay, we'll take one that is 300 meters away. So I believe Crypto Tech uh, has some miners. So you want to holler at him. Go in the Telegram group. Just go inside the Telegram group. There's a link below to join our Telegram group. And then he, he chats in there all the time. And you can link with him if you want a miner. And I believe he's not selling the miners. I believe he's giving the miners through a program and then that program will do revenue share which is still great uh, to have if you've bought a miner and you're waiting months it would be great to do revenue share damn i'm lagging again heard of sift chain yes i have Why is it doing that? I'm connected. Man, I'm going to have to call and get these guys. So when they installed my Wi-Fi, they, they put it in the basement. I have three floors in my house, right? So when they installed the Wi-Fi, they didn't want to drill through my marble tiles. They were like, we don't want to drill through your tiles because I got really nice white marble tiles. So they're like, we don't want to drill through it. So we're just going to leave the thing in the basement. I'm not in the basement. So sometimes the Wi-Fi just goes crazy. But um, yeah, it is what it is. So... It looks like right now. I think what I got to do is I got to change the output. Yeah, Rogers, Bell, Telus, man, these guys, they're all playing games. So I changed the bit rate on the video. Still. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, let's continue. So soft iron rattlesnake. This is in BC. It looks like in the last 30 days, wow, in 30 days it made 0.91. So the first one um, did 20 bucks in a month. Okay, the second one, let's 
terrible. Okay, the second one, beautiful shamrock tortoise. In 30 days did, let's say, and I'm just rounding, right? So this one did 10 bucks in a month. Vancouver, I don't know, it's either saturated or the miners aren't set up right. Woo! Okay, and then this one is killing it. This one did uh, 20 HNT in 30 days. $400 in a month. Okay, so they did 400 in a month, so... Um, oh, I'm not sharing my screen. So, let me share my screen. So, Vancouver. Three miners, you know, one did 20 bucks in a month, one did $10 a month, one did 400 in a month. Let me check two more because the UK I have mine inside I have mine inside um, just sticking out a window or sitting on a windowsill but yeah Okay, so one is doing 25 in a month. So how much are you doing in a month? Um, 25. Someone comment, what's the most HNT you're making in a day? Is anyone making more? If you're making more than one HNT per day, type one in the chat. So uh, let's see. I've had a couple days where I made one HNT recently. Okay, so the fourth one is 500, and the fifth one... Helium Mining Canada Comparables. So... Miner number one made 20, two made 10, three made 400, four made 500, five made 20, that was four, about 80 bucks. And this is US dollars. So I still want to learn about the... Yeah, I still want to learn about the uh, trifecta, helium mining trifecta. Okay, so Saskatchewan, let's go take a look at Saskatchewan, see what they're doing over there. Closest to Saskatchewan I've been was Shiloh, Manitoba. Was not fun. Uh... Sif chain. So SIF chain is the multi-chain, um, I believe, multi-chain exchange. That's supposed to be like the polka dot of exchanges. Um, it's like fairy looking. You know, it looks like some fairy like Zelda type looking the last time I checked. I owned Shift I owned SIF chain back in probably March, April 2020, 2021. Um, I pumped, I sold it, never looked back, deleted it off my watch list and it tanked a lot um hex is better like i have three coins i have three coins that i own and anyone that knows my profiles i only own three coins and for you to be invested i'm either trading it for a day and whatever or um you had to be better than these three coins and most coins are not so um okay darling chrome ferret in calgary Darling Chrome Ferret. Okay.
So I'm earning uh I'm earning one HNT. Damn, you're making three to four HNT per day on one miner. Okay. Type uh type three in the chat if you're earning more than three HNT per day. I'm only earning like max one. Max one. Okay, so Darling Chrome Ferret. We're looking at this one. This is in uh, Regina. 8 DBI antenna. 12 meters in the air. This guy's... Woo! Okay. And then... So $50 in 24 hours. Or 50... 2 HNT in 24 hours, yeah. $400 in 7 days. $2,000. This is what I'm talking about in 30 days. Yo. You know what? This guy's doing well. This guy's doing well. So. Calgary. Yeah, I mean, Calgary's been... Calgary's been making money. This one is inside. 500 bucks. Yeah, I'll talk about my, my three coins and why I kept them. I used to have, right, Polkadot and Kusama gone. Because you just might as well put them in other coins that are doing well. So, okay. All right, so let's go back. Helium mining in Canada. Comparables. We did Vancouver, so now we're going to go to Saskatchewan. See what's going on in Saskatchewan. Uh, and we'll continue with the questions, too. So three hotspots, three HNT. Yeah, so I have ten hotspots. Um, one day I made 17 like a couple days ago, right? Well, it's not just me, it's, it's my team. So, uh, yeah. Saskatoon. What is in Saskatchewan? Why do people... What do you do in Saskatchewan, man? <laughs> oil? Like, is there oil... Just regular living. I'm going to place my miner outside. Okay, so Saskatchewan number one is 10 bucks. Number two is like $1. Number three is. 50 bucks. So 10 bucks. Two. One dollar. Three. 50 bucks. Sketch one not doing well. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Yo, this one did 50 HNT in a month. Melted Nylon Donkey. So Melted Nylon Donkey did 50 HNT in a month. Wow. You gotta look up. We gotta look them up. All my hot sauce are inside installs, so I'm hoping to see some more price appreciation. By the time I get my miners, I'll be earning 0.1 per day. Yes, you will, but 0.1 might be $100, of, you know, HNT. Uh, outside is good, but there are ways to set it up. Indoor is just as good. Um, so there was a video where, like, the guy took the window, and he bought, like, a cable that's flat. So we opened up the window sill, right, stuck the cable in through, then closed the window, and then he just, like, screwed the miner on the outside, but, like... I don't I don't want to ruin my house screwing stuff in the in the side. Maybe I could stick it with some really sticky uh tape or something. But then a hurricane comes and it's done. Like your your miners. Yeah, I don't know. 
Okay, so this is a 1.2 DBI antenna. On, it looks like it's on the floor. So, nothing special. Nothing special. Okay, so that was 49. And then the last one we're going to look at is right here. So Saskatchewan. I mean, Saskatchewan's... What that tells me is there's just not enough miners close enough to each other. 0 0.68. So you're looking at, I don't know, 15 bucks. Okay, so that's a Saskatchewan there. Okay, so let's look at Quebec. Quebec, the last time we checked on live, Quebec was struggling because they didn't have enough miners. And um, there's tons of shipments in. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure the Quebec people, other than Montreal. So other than Montreal, Quebec was struggling. Quebec City is what I'm talking about. Um, so Quebec City, 38. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Quebec City. Deep peanut tuna. Did anyone see that post on uh, Reddit? It was like the highest earning HNT miner in, in the world. He's doing eight HNT per day. Whoa. Eight DBI antenna, 20 meters in the air. Is this even accurate? Hundred, yeah. Look at this beaming like peanut tuna is let's see, Shattagay. I know that. I have a friend that lived there. Uh, St. Martin. Drummondville. Yeah, when I drive to Ontario, through Quebec, I end up at Dunville, eventually. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, 20 feet in the air, 73 witnesses in the past five days. It's looking good. It's synced. Um, the activity is doing well. Cement it to the wall. I'll try that. I'll try that. I have a buddy. I have a buddy that did the attic thing. So we put the miner in the attic. He hired an electrician to put electric uh, box in the attic. I'm gonna talk to him and see how he's mining. Actually, you know what? I can just look him up. I don't need to talk to him. It's blockchain. Okay, so Quebec. Oh, Laval. So basically, like Montreal, right? If you round it up. <laughs> okay, so Quebec City. One, two, three, four, five. Also, Val, not Shadigay. Okay. I'm pretty well Montreal? Okay, so number one is five bucks in a month. That's bad. Number two is, wow, well, like $1 in a month, basically. Number three. Zero. Not so good. Good. 
Number four is welcome back, certain. And these comps. Say you twelve dollars. Number four. Looking at eighty dollars. Yours is the one with the twelve dollars. <laughs> you gotta get more around. And then fifty. So Quebec. Yeah, overall, Quebec, it looks like they're growing and just a little bit more. Um, eventually, I could see these ones in Quebec doing, see what Vancouver is doing, like 200, 100, 200, 300, 400. So, yeah, we'll see what's Quebec, uh, Quebec can do in the future. But right now, it is what it is. You just got to get more miners around you. And eventually, once you get more miners around you, you'll start earning more. So the next city we're going to go to is Ottawa. Ottawa, the last time I checked, had no miners in the area. However, I believe by now they should have people. There was someone that contacted me uh, from Ottawa, and he said he wanted to buy some helium miners. I'm not sure if he followed through or not. Um, yeah, so we'll see. All right, let's look at Ottawa. So let's check the chat. Hint, crypto technology or Helium G says, hint, hint, I'm making a Helium collaboration piece right now. It'll be tight. Dope, you mean like uh, clothing? Is that what you're talking about? So, yo, crypto technology, there's a shirt I want, okay? So there's a, there's a YouTube channel called Bankless, right? And one of the guys in the YouTube channel has this Ethereum shirt. It has the big Ethereum logo in the middle, right? And the shirt's like purple, uh, purple sky, right? And it goes all the way over. You should make that. If you make a shirt like that with the purple sky, with hex, I don't want nothing other than hex. You make that, I'm telling you, it'll be fire. And the hexagons, the hexagons will buy. Um, that's what you should look into doing. It's like a purple galaxy um, shirt. All right, let's look at Ottawa. So good luck to Quebec. You need to keep growing. You know, maybe all the Quebec people probably bought Nebras too, right? So it's got to wait. So Ontario, we're going to go Ottawa. Oh, I did Toronto too. Oh well. See going in Ottawa. That shirt's fire. <laughs> that shirt's fire, man. Look into it. Look into it. Okay, so okay, so the first one in Ottawa is 24 HNT. That's solid. Five is Hold up in the vid if you want. You want me to pull up a picture of the shirt that I'm talking about? Okay, so Ottawa first comp is looking good. 24 HNT. Um, second one is looking good. The 
We got 750. Ottawa is in the hot spot, right? Because it's new um, and it's really condensed. So we'll be looking at one, say 140. So my prediction for helium is people that live in rural, rural areas that still have um, no interference when it comes by like terrain and stuff and trees, those people are going to make the most money in helium. People that live in cities, downtown cores, other than people that live like on the 12th floor of, you know, an, an apartment building and they're just beaming it everywhere, they're going to make less. So, you know, in the, in the beginning, the people that are living in the city made the most and they, they probably made more than anyone. If they didn't sell, these people, most miners dump as well. So that's unfortunate. They dump, they try to trade, they try to time the market. And look at helium now it's at all time highs, right? So, um, yeah. So Ottawa is probably the most consistently earning city right now in Canada that I'm seeing. Um, or I just got lucky with the comps. So what it looks like is everything's over 500 or 100 to 500, and this one is like 10 bucks. So make, yeah, can you make the shirt with X? So what can, can you, do you do pre-sales? My plan is off-grid, top of the mountains. How do you do that? So mountains you're talking about out west then, right? So helium mining in Canada, we got Vancouver, you know, 500 bucks. So low range, $20. So Vancouver, low range, $20. High range, $500. We got Saskatchewan, low range, $1. High range, $1,000. Uh, from what I looked at, the five comps, right? We have Quebec, low range, $1. High range, $80. But there's probably some making more in Quebec. And we got Ottawa, like seven, like, you know, 600, 750, 100, 610 dollars. So Ottawa's doing really well. Um, and then. Hey there. Hey there, North America. Uh, great to see y'all. Rocket HNT. Is that a Great Britain flag? No. Check. Nope, that ain't a Great Britain. That's an Australia flag. Yeah, that's an Australia flag. Sorry about that. So yeah, Australia's in the house. Man, how's helium in Australia? Let me know. Like, uh, is there a lot of people buying helium in Australia? Like, were you able to buy? Did you have the right frequencies? Uh, I, I don't really know much. I might look at it. So check the pic I posted in Telegram. London is saturated. Yeah, London is saturated. Whoa. Look at that hex. How is there 94? How's their 94 miners? I'm going to tweet that. Every person in London just ordered helium and like just tried to do something crazy. Yeah, down under Australia. I should have known helium down under, right? Slow sometimes. So I'm just going to go on my Twitter. Because I just posted what uh, was sent to me in Telegram, which is crazy. Join Telegram, man. All of us are, are talking in Telegram. You should join there. We're always talking about helium and stuff like that. So this here, this picture here is a hex of helium miners in London. So here's the water in London, that S curve, right? And then there's some water going here. So I could probably find that on the map. Um, but anyways, right here in London, downtown, 94 miners. Why would you do that? Why would you put 94 miners? Um, then he got four, five, three, two. Then you got these ones right here. Empty. Nine. 
So the goal is to be, the goal overall is to be in a hex with a low number, one, zero, no, one, one to two in your hex, right? So Helium Down Under says, uh, Helium is just getting started here. We have enormous trouble getting the AUS 915 units, um, but we're now finally moving forward. We just placed orders for over a thousand hotspots between Lynx Dot and SenseCat. Awesome. Awesome. I hope they I hope they do you guys better than what Calchip, Nebra, and the rest of them did us because uh it's months. It's months. Okay, so let's go back and do the last comp as I promised. So Nova Scotia. Wow. <laughs> There's miners in Cape Breton. Wow, in Lewisburg, of all places. Okay, so Halifax, we're going to do one, two, three. I haven't looked at any of these. Four. Are you guys the fair spot of Australia? I think by a thousand. So the good thing about Telegram, Telegram is an open source platform, kind of like crypto. So they're not like, and you can encrypt your, your messages on Telegram. It's so secure, unfortunately. ISIS uses it. And the US and Canada and the UK can't hack them. Their conversations are private. So, um, but not just ISIS use it. That's just an example, right? Like. Businesses use it. Regular people use it. You can talk to your parents uh, in Africa. In some countries, they tax you. So on WhatsApp, every time you use WhatsApp, you get taxed like 15 cents or something. Like you just open it, right? So then people started moving to Signal and Telegram. Now, I don't know if those were blocked, but like Telegram is really robust. So that's why I would say just join the Telegram, click the link down at the bottom and, and, and chat with us. Um, okay, so the first one in Halifax is 16 HNT. The second one in Halifax is not linked. It is not linked. Okay, so we'll see one twenty five. Oh, there was a group purchase. See, the Aussies, <laughs> they're organized. That is cool. So you guys basically did a bulk order together. Bulk orders are going to probably get treated better than single orders. If it was Calchip anyways, you would have got your order like in the first week because they do crazy stuff. Um, but um, yeah, that's smart. That's very smart. And then you save on shipping probably because it's going to be like all concentrated. Instead of like a thousand single shipments, it's just one big shipment. The Aussies are organized, man. Okay, so Halifax, mediocre. Mediocre right now. 14 HNT. Three twenty-two. Three. Has has anyone used Fair Spot? Fair spot is supposed to be the best, right? Um, Three ninety one. All right, so Halifax is looking uh, decent. People making about a hundred. You ordered 10, 28 times 23. 
I use Brave Browser, but um, I don't earn tokens. I don't. I don't want no ads. I want them to delete all the ads. So, yeah. Okay, so helium mining in Canada comparables, right? So we got Vancouver in the house. We got Saskatchewan. We got Quebec. We got Ottawa. And we got Halifax. That is a pretty simple um, comparables. I'll probably do one later on, like in a couple of months or whatever. Or maybe I'll do another one soon. But this is just, you know, an overview of what it looks like in Canada earning helium. So if you are in Canada right now, um, you can kind of gauge by these comparables um, what someone who is in helium mining is earning across the country. Um, they look fairly similar, fairly stable. I would say if you live in the country, you have an advantage because houses in the country are further away. The disadvantage would be mostly houses in the country aren't that tall. So if there's trees and stuff blocking you, there might you might have some interference, but um, yeah. You know, that it is. Okay. So Halifax, you know, 100, 200, 300, 300, 600. That's what they're earning. Ottawa, 5, 7, 1, 6, 10. Quebec, you know, 5, 1, 12, 80, 50. Saskatchewan, 10, 1, 50, 1,000, 15. I would want to know what that guy with 1,000 is doing. I think he was 20 feet in the air with an 8 DBI antenna. And then Vancouver, you know, 20, 10, 400, 580. So there you go. So, okay. That basically is the, you know, the overview of helium mining in Canada. So if you're in Canada and you buy a miner for 500 and you're making, you know, 300 a month, that's pretty decent returns, right? Um, I get about eight bat per month with Brave. I just noticed that I can do 10 hours instead of five. It's about 5 million. I should double that now that I changed. Yeah, so if you look at my Brave browser, I got this Brave browser, I'm pretty sure, in 2017 when Brave first came out. And I'm looking at, what, 1.4 million ads blocked, 18 gigs saved, 19 hours of my life. Imagine 19 hours of your life watching ads because they do not respect your privacy. They do not respect... Like just 19 hours, you're like gone because you, you're trying to go somewhere and you got to watch this ad. So I really like Brave Browser for that reason. I really don't care about uh, getting paid because um, the Brave token is diluting, I'm pretty sure. So they should be paying you more. They should be paying you more. But yeah, if anyone has any questions about helium mining in Canada, um, just, you know, uh, comment below. And uh, that's, you know, that's a wrap for helium mining in Canada. So I'll take any questions. If anyone has any questions, I know there was one about SIF chain. Um, you know, SIF chain is just not as good as hex. So, okay, so now let's talk about the uh, not my top. I'm gonna say my top. Yeah, my top four because there is a fourth now. Okay, so let's move on to the next segment called my top four crypto holdings. I'll probably do a separate video on this as well. Um, so my top four crypto holdings. I want no ads. Like I want no ads just to, to wrap up the ads and brave attention. So my top four crypto holdings, number one, number one holding hex is like 95% plus. 
of my holdings. Uh, actually, I think it's top five now. Number two. No, it's not 95. It's probably 60% of my holdings. Number two, Pulse. That's probably 35 I don't even have the pulse tokens yet. Okay, number three, helium. Because I'm mining. Number four, Cardano. I actually sold helium for Cardano and I staked it. And number f five, oh yeah, number five is Solana. Okay. So you're saying I knew it. <laughs> I knew it was hex. Okay, so I'll tell you why. All right, so my top five holdings here. Um, let me just look at my screen here just to make sure. Yeah. What I did was I took a concentrated bet or a concentrated investment on um, what was going to happen in crypto, you know, in the future. Can I make this bigger? Okay. I'm going to talk about changing my mind. Okay. Man, okay, so let's let's go over this. Number one, so uh, I have a finance background, okay? I bought my first stock. I bought my first stock. Let me just give you, you know, an overview of my mindset when it comes to investing. I bought my first stock in grade six, right? So I was, what, 10 years old? I bought my first stock in grade six when I was 10 years old. I had a teacher named Mr. Longard. Shout out to Mr. Longard. This guy literally changed my life, you know? So we had this uh, we had this class, and I, I, I forget what class it was, but what he wanted us to do was go in the newspaper, and we all pick a stock. So there's like 30 kids in the class, right? He's like, pick a stock, pick a company in this newspaper, and every Friday, we're going to review the price and see what happens, right? So I picked a stock. I, I picked Daimler Chrysler. Or I picked Chrysler, actually. My parents drove a Chrysler, and I picked Chrysler. I didn't know how bad Chrysler was at the time. But there was a rumor that Mercedes was going to buy it, Daimler, right? So I picked Chrysler, and I think it went from whatever. Like, it was nothing. It went from $30 to $40, say, in this semester. Another guy in my class, his name was Pat Sampson, really big guy, hockey player, he's six foot six. He was like six foot at this age in grade six. People would ask him when he's going, like what university he was going to. Anyways, this Pat Sampson kid uh, buys a stock, I think it was Infosys or something, and this stock does a thousand X. It does a thousand X in a semester. Like He turns like 50 bucks into like a million like it was like crazy like a million dollars or something like something just crazy or five hundred thousand dollars it was crazy i was like i need to do this i need to do this and the reason why is because um being an immigrant family like i was born in canada but having an immigrant family you know or a child of immigrants you hustle you grind um we did things like we did things like we worked at a, at a flea market selling popcorn and like hockey stickers. Um, we did um, 
delivering delivering newspapers you know we did like i remember washing cars we did bottle drives with soccer to make money like you're always hustling to make money so when i was young i knew that you have to make money so then all of a sudden this investment you just buy it and it just goes up i was like this is crazy so mr longard in grade six made me become an investor so i learned how to value invest through warren buffett's way i learned how to um, use uh, momentum and just common stocks like peter lynch and i have all these books I, I read on investing. I learned how to trade. I learned how to short um, scam penny stocks, Tim Sykes. I learned all these different ways. And you know what? Most of them did not work for me. I wasn't good enough when it came to trading, but I was really, really, really good at doing research. So my, my number one skill, my superpower skill is being able to uh, do research on a coin or do research on a stock or a company look at how people are going to be using it in the future how many people like it in the future like finding amazon early and being like i know this is going to be the future finding shopify early and being like i know this is going to be used in the future so that is my superpower skill but my you know my biggest issue was i didn't hold these stocks long enough or hold these cryptos long enough because the second that you sell all of a sudden it does 300 percent gain in a day like it's just that's usually your luck so what i've done now is i've in crypto i would copy other people so i would watch influencers i'd watch other these people that made money in crypto and i would copy them i'd copy their style right um like like ian Bellina. ian Bellina at the time would just do icos in 2017 he just put his money in icos 100x sell it put his money in icos 0x sell it right he had more more capital in crypto than me then I watched Suppleman. Then I watched other people, right? And they're just doing all these random things. Most of them, Suppleman does hold for really long periods of time, and that's where success comes from. But I didn't know that I was always moving around, moving around, moving around. You're getting eaten up by fees. Like Vitalik and his friends are just taking all your money. Every time you, every time you click the button to trade, sell, move your crypto, they take your money, right? So I've paid over probably, I'm, I'm thinking I paid between five and $7,000 in gas fees alone on ethereum now what i learned is if you the, the biggest people in crypto so if we look at bitcoin bitcoin did a 6.5 million x return did you have to trade like if you put one dollar in bitcoin right and you just held it because bitcoin was at one cent right you'd have 6.5 million dollars at the top so why would you become a trader if you can just do that now okay bitcoin was way before our time if you put like one dollar in ethereum you'd have ten thousand dollars or something like that like because of ten thousand x right so all you had to do is buy ethereum at the ico and hold it till now that's it right now if you're putting ten thousand dollars in ethereum you're a millionaire right so you need to find coins that are going to do this over the long term they have product market fit um they have a good community they have great code they have security they don't get hacked um and they have you know a great outlook in the future and the only way you can do this is by being picky there are coins that are going to do a thousand x tomorrow there's a coin that probably did a thousand x right now but 90 percent of the time those coins go back down 99 percent so i've chosen not to be a trader and to just be a buy and hold guy so every month if i was going to do it i would put more money in hex put more money in hex put more money in hex <laughs> right and then the rest of them i just had small positions and i kept them and they've done well okay so the reason why i like hex is because you get interest you get more hex and so that's my reason for using hex now number two pulse chain pulse chain was a speculative bet on the founder of hex hex has done a 400,000 percent return 400,000 percent return in two years so um the founder of hex is like i don't like ethereum anymore the gas fees are too high it's not doing anything vitalik is talking too much i'm going to fork ethereum i'm going to make it cheaper i'm going to make it faster i'm going to make it better and i'm going to make everyone come over to, to pulse chain and we can do our trading or gaming whatever there on pulse chain 
and maybe Ethereum will be worth more because there'll be less gas, less gas going on. So I took 30% of my bag or 60, I don't know, maybe I took 60% of my bag. Numbers might be wrong. I might have took 60% of my bag and I put it in uh, Pulse Chain, maybe 50%. I put it in Pulse Chain. The reason why I did that is when Pulse Chain comes out, you're gonna all your ERC20 coins are gonna be doubled. So, right, if I have 30, yeah, let me change these right now. I think it's 30% hex. No, I think it's 50 50. I think it's 50 50. Okay. So, what's going to happen is when Pulse Chain comes out, when you get double the coins or ERC20, my hex is going to be 100% again. That's all I care about. My Helium is not, my Cardano is not, and my Star uh, My Cardano is an ERC20, I think, maybe. I had Ada, it might be an ERC20. So you might be able to um, double your Cardano stack, right? So that is my theory behind that. So I'm doubling my hex. I'm getting Pulse Chain, which could, I don't know, hopefully at 100 Xs. If 100 Xs were good, I can retire. Literally, I can retire for 100 Xs. So, okay, so those are you know, uh, Pulse Chain. Now, Helium. Every single day I earn Helium. Um, and I'm gonna. I was selling my helium for hex, selling my helium for hex, selling my helium for hex. Eventually, I'm going to stop selling my helium for hex, but I've tripled my amount. Like the amount that I sold, I've tripled it. Where hex has only gone up like fifty percent. Number four. So, how can you live holding Cardano? Because Cardano was vaporware to me. Um. For the past three years. Recently, there's an overwhelming amount of support of newbies in Cardano. There's an overwhelming amount of support of new people trying to move on to Cardano. I've been hearing it's a terrible chain, but I'm betting on the people backing it, which is everyone in crypto almost. Um, and I'm betting on buy the rumor, sell the news. So. Smart contracts are coming out September, what, 12th? So leading up, I think that there's going to be banks, hedge funds, big whales in crypto that are just going to buy Cardano um, to the moon. And that's why I'm holding Cardano, but it's small. It's small. It's like one month of, one month of crypto earnings, or one month of helium earnings is in Cardano. The number five is Solana. Solana I bought a long time ago. I remember I did a video on Holy Trinity. Um, Holy Trinity is at all-time highs, by the way. When I did the video on Holy Trinity, it was $7 to $10 a coin. It's like $17 a coin now. So if anyone got into Holy Trinity, it's doing very well, which is um, it's just it's like an ETF of Solana, Radium, and a third one, a third uh, SBF coin. So that is my top five crypto holdings. Um, and uh, yeah, so ADA and Theta are my best investments in crypto so far. Des, I... I I agree. Bling. Okay, I'm staking that too. Yeah, I'm staking I'm staking Solana too actually. Okay, so 4 months ago when I talked about staking Solana it was 11% yield, now it's 6. I don't like that. So, um Let's go back to the comments. Solana, baby. Yes, it is. So crypto technology. Um, you've been holding Cardano for more than a year. Oh, been holding Cardano for more than a year. Good win. Good win. So I bought Cardano at $2. And what did it hit? Is it hit almost at $3? I don't even know what it's at right now. I think it was $1.96 when I bought it at. I think it's, no, I think I'm up 39% is when I'm up. Uh, that's a good one too. Ada and Theta are my best investments in crypto so far. So Des, what I would say is that's amazing. I would say that you know what happens when Bitcoin goes down, right? Um, I would say 
I, if I were you, not financial advice, but if I were you, I would consider taking a significant portion of my um, profits and either putting it in USDC, if there's a dip, or putting it in HEX and just staking it for three years. Three years, I would stake 30% for three, then five and seven years. And you have to serve 50% of your stake. If you serve 50% of your stake, you get your money back without any penalties. If you serve your whole stake, you're making, you know, um, in you know, in the seven years, you're making like more than double your coins back. Plus, if the price goes up, it's multiplying. So the way I see it like this, right? Uh, let me talk about hex staking. So this is an example. If you stake hex for five years, right, you get. 100% more hex coins, right? That makes sense. So if you stake hex for five years, you get 100% more hex coins, right? Which means at same price, right? So if you stake hex for five years and five years from now it's the exact same price you have a hundred percent gain now that's nothing in crypto but in stocks that's huge right so then what if what if hex goes up 10x in five years right so then it's 10x times two x so you have a 20x return <clears throat> so <laughs> right <laughs> so if you're doing 10k that's not bad that's not bad well, that's why I like hex because the gains multiply times each other. Now, if you stake hex for 10 years, it's 3x the coins. And if hex goes up 10x in the right in the 10 years. So this is what I really like um, about Hex. So I, I would just consider it, you know, I would definitely consider it taking some of the profits and just putting it in Hex and staking it because you know you can get that there. There's no other coin. And when this becomes public knowledge, when this becomes public knowledge and, and people start pumping this coin, um, it's going to just, that's what I think. That's what I think. But right now, Hex is being held down by CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap, right? So, I mean, you go on CoinGecko and uh, you look at the top 10, it's not there, right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Binance, right? Then you go on Nomics. You go on Nomics, come what? Bitcoin, Ethereum, Hex, Cardano. What's up with that? What's up with that? Why is it that one website shows Hex as the number three crypto in the world? And then another website shows it doesn't even exist. When people find out they've been lied to, they're going to be really pissed um, because they could have missed or they would have missed a lot of gains. Um, so that's an overview of my top five holdings in crypto hex and pulse chain are the majority you know the majority of my uh my holdings in crypto right so i guess that they're not 50 50 right it will be 48 45 45 i guess 
Um, interesting. So helium doing well. Helium doing well. Hex doing well. Um, Pulse Chain is doing well. Cardano is doing well. Solana is doing well. And if you look at the charts here. Uh, we don't look, need to look at the charts. Yeah, there we go. It's hot in here. It's 40 degrees today, Celsius. Possible. So who has, um, who has more miners on the way? So if you look at the Solana chart, right, when we were talking about Solana in March, April, May, you know, no, not really. It was here, May. It was $40. It was around $40. It dropped to as low as $25. Then it hit down $25. Then boom. And what this apparently is in this chart, um, I'm not a chart guy, but anyways, what this apparently is, is what the story say is institutional buyers institutional companies banks hedge funds are now buying solana because they like sbf and they like solana why well solana has been buying stadiums when someone buys stadiums and buys sports teams and buys mlb logos like the umpire got the logo here so you got the nba you own the stadium that you know the miami heat playing you got uh the, the you got a logo on the umpire you got a logo on another stadium in college eventually people are gonna be like yo who's, the, who's these guys FTX and then what is Solana so anyways that's probably why Solana is going up a lot of buying and a lot of Solana staked also just the crypto bull run but um, overall I'm happy with my portfolio I'm happy with the results um, everything is good you got four still waiting on links dot four is great four is great 20 more on the way Woo. that's great so Maybe I should find out if anyone wants a miner and just send them the, the, the profit share miners, the non emirate profit, profit share miners. But um, yeah, overall, everything looks good. Crypto is good. It's fun. This, this, uh, the bull run didn't end. Bitcoin didn't hit 10,000. Uh, there's really not much that you can complain about. So Solana is so fast. Solana is so fast. Uh, Solana Beach. You look at my location on my on my profile on social media. It says I'm. It says I, I live at Solana Beach. <laughs> is it called Solana Beach blockchain? Yeah. That's where I live. So, 2,500 transactions per second, right? Go, wow. 2,500 transactions per second uh, for Solana. So, they are improving their speed because the last time we checked, it was about 1,100 to 1,500 transactions per second. That is legendary. You got to love Solana improving. So um, that is all for now. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, you know, let's keep uh, staying strong in crypto. Let's keep staying strong in crypto. Um, there's more to come. There's more gains to be had. Stay strong. Don't, you know, don't trade. Don't get... Um, don't get caught holding bad coins. Don't get caught leverage trading. Oh, Solana Beach is in San Diego? Well, people probably think I live in San Diego now. But uh, I'm just that bullish. So overall, you know, Helium Hex Solana. Helium Hex Solana. And then the other two just happened to, happened to go. So uh, I'm going to head out.
Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, see you in the Telegram group, man. Chat, chat with me in the Telegram group, and we got more to come. Harmony One, Harmony One. They had, they were viral. They were very viral. Um, I just don't know who uses it. I don't know anyone who uses Harmony One. All right, new content. <laughs> new, it says new content added weekly. I'm going to stick to that now because I need to add more content weekly. So uh, turn your notifications on, follow me on Twitter, and join us in the Telegram group. And www.gskwealthbuilders.com slash gifts. Thank you.